How's it going, everybody? It is Ethan Erna Coder, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. We are on episode 40. Last episode, we found out that it's not very easy to go ahead and style a checkbox. So we go ahead and make a custom checkbox inside of our React and style it exactly the way Twitter has it. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code, and I'll show you guys how we do this. So now we actually need to go in and start building out this button to make it look better. So the problem is that we can't really style the button itself we had to make a kind of pseudo button and do it ourselves so let's go ahead and hop into vs code and make it so we can make the styled checkbox or the special checkbox that does what we want so for now i'm going to close out of these and inside of our components folder we are going to go ahead and make a new file and i'm going to call this checkbox or a new folder actually i'm going to make a new folder i'm going to call it checkbox like so and i'm just going to call this styled checkbox .tsx. And as you can see by the styled name, we are going to use style components. So we're going to import styled. Get rid of this from style components. And the checkbox itself is going to be a div. So export const styled checkbox. And this is going to equal styled.div. And we're going to have our back ticks and inside here, we're just going to have a width of 20 pixels. We're going to have a height of 20 pixels, just going to be square. Background color is going to be light gray. Again, I probably should have used the actual Twitter color here, but it is fine. Display will be flex. The justify content will be center. The align items will be center. And then finally, the border will be one pixel gray solid. All right, so that is that. Um, we will need a props for this. So let's go ahead and go into our global interfaces and just throw it in here. Export interface, and this is gonna be styled. Check box props. We're going to need some information such as active, which is going to be Boolean. And we're also going to need the theme, which is going to be theme. And that's good to go. Let's go ahead and import this in here. So import, and this is going to be styled. Checkbox props. Now that we have the style checkbox props imported we're going to go ahead and make a new style component export cons styled checkbox background and this will be a styled dot div and this is going to take in that styled checkbox props all right, so now we're going to have a box sizing on this one, a border box. We're going to have a width of 35. We're going to have a height of 35. We're going to have a border radius of 100%. We're going to have a display flex. We're going to have justify content in the center. We're going to have align items in the center. And finally, we're going to have cursor pointer. And we're going to have a pseudo class. I believe is what these are called or hover. And we're going to have background color. And here we'll use our props that we just created. So props. And we're going to say props dot active. If we are active, we are going to have RGB value. So we're going to say RGB A, and it's going to be 29161242.15. Otherwise, it will be RGB A 0, 0, 0, and then 0. 
and save. So almost black. So now essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to overlay these. So the background of uh, the style checkbox background is going to be in the back. Whenever you hover over, it's going to be a circle. And then the actual checkbox will be where the actual um, check goes. The issue with this is that we can't easily make a circle with the drop shadow off of a square shape. So this is why I'm opting to do it this way. Now we need to go ahead and actually update the style checkbox as well. So let's go ahead and throw the styled checkbox props inside of here and what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to add some margin to be zero on this just to be safe we want to change the background color to use props so we'll go ahead and say dollar sign we'll have our props and then again we're going to say props.active is it active if it is it'll be props dot colors or dot theme dot colors dot blue otherwise it'll be white all right these are fine flex is fine center is fine we need a border so let's go ahead and grab the we have the border we need to use the props on the border so go ahead and update this as well so props and then here again we'll say props dot active in this case if we're active we don't want any border that's just the way that it works otherwise we'll go ahead and say solid and it's going to be two pixels and we're going to have dollar sign props dot theme dot colors dot dark gray and what are we missing our props we need our question mark so it's either gonna have no border if we're active or it will have a solid border and finally we want cursor pointer just because there's some spots where it might not be pointer and that should be good so now the final thing we need to do is actually combine these and actually add in the logic to switch whenever it's been clicked so go back in here go ahead and make another file so new file We'll call this checkbox dot tsx and this is where we're actually going to use everything that we just created so import react we're also going to have use state from react and we also need the two things that we just created so we're going to import and we'll import the styled checkbox in the styled checkbox background and then we also need something from material ui so import and this is going to be check rounded icon from material ui for some reason check rounded icon hopefully this is installed it should be um at MUI slash icons material slash check rounded. All right, it popped up. I'm not sure why it wasn't importing. Go ahead and do our export const, and this is going to be checkbox. And that's yeah, fine. React.fc. This one isn't going to take in any data because we're not really using anything. This one's more for show. We're going to have a const clicked and set clicked. So this is if someone has clicked the checkbox, it's equal to use state. And this is going to be Boolean and then false. And then const toggle checkbox. And this is just going to go ahead and set the clicked. So we're going to go ahead and just say set clicked. And this is going to be equal to not clicked. So just swap in between the two. And finally, return. And this is going to have our background. So styled checkbox background active. It's going to equal to clicked. So if we clicked on it or not, and on click is going to equal to toggle checkbox so if we click anywhere 
inside of our styled checkbox background is going to toggle it. Now we need our styled checkbox. Inside of here again, active is just going to be equal to clicked. We don't need an on click for this one because the other one, the background should handle that. And then inside of our style checkbox, we're gonna have one more thing. If it's been clicked, we're going to have that icon. Let me make some space here. So if clicked, we'll have the icon. So check rounded icon, and this is going to have some CSS attached to it. So font size is going to be 18 pixels. The color will be white. Okay, and go ahead and close this. Otherwise, we're just gonna have nothing. And save. So now we have our checkbox. Now we need to actually add that into the component. So coming back into our register form, and now instead of this checkbox, we want to go ahead and say checkbox from our components. It shouldn't need anything save. We might be missing, but you see we have the circle, we have that. Now we are missing a little bit of CSS. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that really quick. Oh, we missed, or I misspelled some CSS. Let me double check um, toggle group. Okay, let me check the CSS for this. I figured I probably misspelled something. Save. Now let's take a look. There we go. That looks much better. And whenever you click on it, it adds that. And now this one's good to go. And if we hit next, we are ready to start working on registration step three. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.